Kay. Welcome to the Crow Discovery Project. I did a really quick clip here because I was messing around with some of the Pluto images and I was pretty shocked by what I found. And the funny thing is, is I did this a long time ago with NASA moon landing images and found a similar thing. I took an image, a snapshot of the moon I took, you can see on the left here, and one of the NASA images from Pluto, which is on the right here. And so I'm going to address that. I'm going to do a very simple technique in Photoshop. Here is the moon, and you can see that I have lined up a guide on the right side of the moon. Um, the reason for that is when I do the manipulation, I want to be sure that the expected edge of the moon is in the place I would expect to see it. And so what I'm going to do here is, is I'll, uh, here, I'll actually show you that the guide moves here. So let's move the guide. Whoops. Okay, let's move the guide. There we go. And uh, that's close. That's not exact, but it'll serve. Okay, so now what we're going to do is invert the color. Very simple. And we're going to go up and grab levels. And then we're going to jack them all the way up. So what we find here is that the guide I put in is right on the edge of the moon where we expect to see it. There are no artifacts out there in the blackness. And even on the shadow terminator line there, there's not even artifacts on the left of that, which, I mean, if I jacked it down a little, maybe there would be. But we're going to do the exact same thing to this image. As you can see, the guides are at the expected edge of Pluto, or what we're told is whoops, Pluto. Here we go. Going to invert the color channels in the same way. And already, look at that. You can see a ghosting image all the way around it. First indicator of shenanigans. Now we're going to grab levels. Jack them all the way up in the exact same way, and bingo, bango, boombo. We have a ghost image all the way around. Look at all those artifacts. This is a construct. This is not any kind of a, you know, people are probably going to say, oh, well, they've got to send it through space and all that. No, uh, it, it, this is a constructed image. Um, that's really all there is to it. This is proof of that. There's no getting around, and this was done with so many of the Apollo images, and I, I don't even know how many NASA images have had this or a similar method applied. Now, just doing this shows kind of the fakery, but there is so much more that can be demonstrated about what is going on with this kind of ritualistic Masonic meme that has been introduced. Um, there is no spacecraft out there. Um, what we know of Pluto is that it is a very, very dim light in the sky. That is all we know of Pluto. Um, a lot of people are going to have a problem with the fact that I said that, but I'm sorry. As a matter of fact, there's already blogs popping up decoding all the Masonic coding. Because after all, Pluto is the god of the underworld. And here we're looking at the heart. So many people are commenting on the movie, uh, what's it called? Their Hancock, I believe, where... Uh, there's a heart similar image to this placed on the moon. Uh, it goes on and on, the shenanigans that are played. And what I'll do is I'll put a link to the blog um, down in the description of video. But there it is. These images are just not what you think they are. So I'm sorry to say. Cheers.